Well, others, her song just went viral on TikTok earlier this year. This is the girl who doesn't want to sit still, look pretty. This is the bad girl, and this is the yeah. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. And how's 2021? It's been it's been a lot. It's been 2021. It's been crazy. Um, it's it's been good. I think mainly good things so far. I'm really excited about the music that I'm making and excited that I got to release Bad Girl and so much more music is on the way. And I feel like I've just been trying to stay positive this year after last year. So, yeah, it's been good. Yep, at least 2021 is better than 2020. Well, and yes. Just, <laughs> and you just yeah, released so far. a new song. It's called Bad Girl. I did. I is did. It, it will be cliche, but what's this song about? This song is about a lot of things to me. Um, it's about my kind of journey with my sexuality and finding someone who makes me feel like a, my most confident self and authentic self and also just manifesting that for myself just waking up and feeling like a bad girl and feeling assertive and confident and um not really taking shit from anyone um <laughs> because that's what we have to do as as girls we can't we can't say we can't take no okay and there it is also explained that your latest work, this bad girl, is not just about a bad girl, but it's kind of encourage girls to show their true self the way they want it to. Is it adequate if I'd say this is not just a song, but it's a statement from you? I think so. I mean, I think I never sought out to write a song that's like, I'm going to make this grand statement and whatever. But I feel like with through my writing, I always end up writing my thoughts that are um, the most personal and um, that I truly believe in. And I think that this this song is a reflection of how I feel about being a bad girl and about people constantly telling girls to quiet down or to kind of like soften themselves for the world around them. And I think that it's just a reminder that we should, we shouldn't do that and that we should be, um, we should speak our minds and stand up for what we believe in um, just as much as anyone else. And um, we shouldn't try to like shrink ourselves or make ourselves smaller for other people to feel more comfortable. Yeah, I get it. I get it there. Well, and you have just released this strip version of this song, uh, Bad Girl, Life from the Belasco. And I love it. Thank you. You know, I'm, I'm this type of mellow guy who always preferred the strip version over the original one. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I'm but, glad. But then I recognize that you rarely make a sad song. Why is that? That is true. Um, I feel like I am sad a lot, so that doesn't really make sense. But in a way, I think it's a way of like manifesting positivity and good things for me and happiness. And um, I think that's the beautiful thing about songwriting is that you can really create your own narrative with it and create the own, your own world that you want to live in. And if you have a bad day or you feel sad or you feel you're mad at yourself for something or you're mad at the world around you. I think it's such a beautiful way to escape and to create a world where you don't feel any of that pain and you just feel just beautiful, good things and positivity. So I, I, I think I try to write songs that are, that kind of are act as an escape and take you out of that for a second. Yeah. But yeah, I get it. But I can't wait to, um you know get the 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 other version the alternate version the straight version of you <laughs> thanks i i hope that um i do have some songs coming up on the ep that are a little bit more in line with that so you'll definitely i think you'll be happy with those ones okay and well before we're talking about your upcoming ep um let's play some games. I'm gonna ask some trivial questions 
it's just okay let's start with this one what's the most guilty pleasure song for you to listen oh um i feel like jonas brothers i mm-hmm. feel like um i was a big fan when i was younger but i still love the song love bug it's such a good song it's one of one of their i forget what album it was on but um it's a great song musically it's yeah, beautiful yeah. so i agree with favorite. you and anyway i think you should collaborate with them <laughs> I would, I would love project, that. You know? <laughs> Next one. What's the most guilty pleasure movie for you to watch? Um, anything Disney. I love, I love watching Disney movies. Um, so I just watched fun. Tarzan the other night. It's such a good movie. It's so sad at the end, but anything Disney, really. Yeah, it's I always like a good movie. time. Okay then, back to the topic there. It's, I don't know. Um, I bet you didn't see this coming then, yeah. I know you sing your whole life. Uh, you love music, but yeah, 10 years ago, you would never imagine you'd be here, right? Where you are right now. You've been in your hideaway. <laughs> I mean, that escalated. Hey. And if I may ask, Dia, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, I don't know where I see myself in 10 years. I think hopefully touring. Hopefully I'm going to do like five world tours after this, after not being able to do a show for a whole year. Um, I'm just never going to come home, I feel like. And... I hope to be releasing music that I love and that other people love too. That's all I can hope for. Amen to that. <laughs> anyway. Granny. And I hope to be in Indonesia. Pardon me? And I hope to be in Indonesia. Oh, can't wait. I really am can't wait. <laughs> we welcome you here. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I mean it. Grammy is so last week. And talking about Grammy, I know it's been years but I still want to congratulate you on your Grammy. Thank you. Thank and you so much. Yeah. Do you aim for another one? Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, that would be really nice if I won a, another Grammy. Wow. Um, I think I, I think it's something where I'm really happy that it happened early on in my career as a feature and not as my song. And so it kind of gives me the space to now create my own song that will hopefully win a Grammy someday. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely something that I will strive for. But it's also really hard to predict because it's just, you never know what's going to happen with the Grammy. So yeah. I'm not trying to put all my cards in that either. Yeah, I agree with you. Out and see what happens. But I do believe that you can achieve another one. And fingers crossed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and this year, you're going to release an EP, right? Yes. Can you give me some spoilers about that? Um, I can't. I don't... Um, well, I told you there's going to be some some more strips down, stripped down songs on it. Um, and I think it's just a really, it's just a reflection of where I'm at musically and in my life personally. And it feels really honest. And um, I really love every single song on it so much in a different way. So hopefully it'll connect with everyone. Well, yeah, you haven't released it, but... I'm sure I'm gonna love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, I think that's all the air for now. Thanks for talking with me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. It was great to meet you. Good luck for your works. Thank you. Let's talk soon. This is so good to meet you. Sure. And hopefully I can meet you in person soon. Thank you, and so do I. <laughs>